We all know the old adage, don't look a gift horse in the mouth. Don't turn your back on what's freely given. And St. Paul holds nothing back in his chastising the community at Galatia, uh, in chastising them for really turning their back on the gifts that are given to them because the grace of God has appeared. Jesus reminds us today about the power of prayer and that everything is right there. All we need to do is ask. And even further than that, with the psalmist today, we actually pray from the New Testament, from Luke's gospel, the Canticle of Zechariah, from the infancy narrative, Zechariah's Canticle of Praise after the birth of John the Baptist. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people. So it's not even a matter of having to go out to implore or seek the Lord because the Lord is coming to us and every gift, every grace and every blessing is right there for our taking because the Lord desires it to do so. Jesus presents this kind of comparison about, you know, we know how to respond when people ask us if they persist enough. And Jesus is saying, this isn't how God works, that that God answers because we persist or because we beg and we annoy him, but because God desires to do so. And he enters into our lives so that we don't have to go out of our way to somehow implore or grovel or beg or bring God to conversion because he's coming to bring us to conversion. As most of you know, I ran a marathon this past Sunday, and any well-organized race has plenty of opportunities for hydration and nutrition, uh, usually about every two or three miles. And as the race goes on, uh, we got to the last mile, and I kind of chuckled that there was a, there was a water station at mile marker 25, 1.2 miles left to go, and there was yet another water station. And inevitably, there are people who think that they can skip them and, and go by, and you want to say... The race is providing nutrition and hydration for you at all these opportunities. Why would you turn it down? Why would you pass the water stop by and be left struggling, thirsty, or undernourished, or underfueled? I always make sure that I take every opportunity. Where they're there with water or Gatorade, I take it. If they're there handing out gels or goos or whatever the nutritional supplements that they have are, I take them. There was a stop when there were orange slices and banana pieces and I took them because they had them and I presume that the race organizers knew better than I knew about how much I needed to fuel and hydrate. Why would anyone pass up what's freely given? Now that wasn't free. I paid to enter the race and paid for them to provide that. But who would pass up what's freely given? And that is where St. Paul's frustration comes from that he preached the word, he gave them this gift of grace of Jesus in bringing them to baptism, bringing them to faith, and then he sat back and watched them turn away. Jesus freely offers everything we truly need. And that's the difference, that sometimes we think, well, God's not answering my prayer. What are you praying for? We simply pray for God's will to be done and express our openness and our desire for what he knows we truly need. We trust in that promise and give thanks that God has come to his people. He has come to us to bring us back to his dwelling, his eternal dwelling in heaven.